Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. No one's ever gonna finish a game if they don't get past the beginning. Destiny's a bitch, huh? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 video game intros. Uh, I'm gonna attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Our criteria is simple. These are the intro cinematics and opening sequences that excited us for the adventure ahead and stayed with us long after the game was completed. You'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Number 10, Ocarina of Time. Kicking off our list is the opening that let fans know that the 64-bit future had arrived in a big way. As the first time that the Zelda series had been created in three dimensions, the scale and epicness of the adventure was demonstrated by the simple yet stunning animation of Link riding a horse through the vast land of Hyrule. Of course, that was followed by Link's foreboding dream of a terrifying horseman and the darkness he would sow. Number 9, Mega Man 2. If one game can be credited as the Blue Bomber's greatest, it's gotta be this one. We attribute that to the intro as much as the refined gameplay, as nothing is as pulse pounding as the text giving way to the camera climbing a skyscraper with intensifying music, all building up to the reveal of the hero. It might be a bit plain by today's standards, but this was over 25 years ago. It simply didn't get much more epic for the NES generation. Press start already. Good morning. You have been in suspension for 50 days. Number 8, Portal 2. Our first trip through the Aperture Labs led us on a surprisingly memorable and mind-bending experience. Pushing the situational storytelling to new boundaries, Portal 2 begins with you coming out of suspended animation, twice. With the second, we knew something went horribly wrong as the room had aged significantly. Ah! Oh god, you look te um, good. Looking good, actually. After a jarring meeting with Wheatley, you're taken for a rather bumpy ride through a startlingly large and clearly decaying facility. If anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive and soon come face to face with our old friend GLaDOS, who, as she would put it, is still alive. Look, we both said a lot of things that you're going to regret. But I think we can put our differences behind us. For science, you monster. Number 7, Batman Arkham Asylum. What can we say? Expectations were not running high for a good Batman game at the time. Thankfully, by the time we're given control, we knew things were on the right track. With the Batmobile rushing to Arkham, we see that Batman has finally captured the Joker. Mission complete, right? Yeah, right! Well, all is not as it appears in the Asylum, as what first seemed to be campy dialogue gave way to the first chapter of a riveting Batman tale, one that rivaled the very best offerings from the page and the silver screen. Welcome to the Madhouse, Batman! I set a trap and you sprang it gloriously! Now let's get this party started. War. War never changes. Number 6, Fallout. This game features a nuclear apocalypse, and you play a survivor who emerges from Vault 13, one of 122 vaults spread out across the country. The gripping tone and grim, sardonic humor the series has been renowned for is set from the get-go, as the eerie crooning plays over the grim but cheerful ads that flicker on the derelict TV screen. May Decide. Then, it's up to Ron Perlman to give you the backstory and inform you that nobody really knows what's waiting for you beyond your vault's door. Life in the vault is about to change. Number 5, Mass Effect 2. A sequel should always raise the stakes, and that's exactly what EA and BioWare did with Mass Effect 2. Picking up where we left off, the shadowy head of Cerberus, voiced by Martin Sheen, speculates on the fate of Commander Shepard. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. We then cut to Shepard and his familiar crew, who immediately come under attack. 
players get to take one last pulse-pounding jog through the all but destroyed Normandy before it comes apart and Shepard dies? Wait, what? Number four, Uncharted 2, Among Thieves. Speaking about starting off the game with your character in mortal danger, this one begins with our hero awakening from unconsciousness, only to discover that he's in a wrecked train car dangling over a cliff. scrabbling their way out of the train in the desperate manner that the series is known for. Players just barely make it out before it drops. And that's when the story backtracks to the beginning so we can learn how Drake got himself into that mess. Guess it'll be a while until we figure it out. Number 3, Half-Life. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This is another intro that involves a train, but it's a bit more low-key. A revolutionary sequence for its time, Half-Life's first few minutes are spent on a monorail car examining the breathtaking extensiveness of the Black Mesa facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation checkup is grounds for immediate termination. While this sequence is often hailed as the beginning of indirect storytelling in video games, perhaps the most notable part of all is the fact that although a deep sense of foreboding is instilled in the player throughout, nothing bad ever happens. Well. Not yet, at least. Thank you, and have a very safe Good and morning, productive Mr. day. Looks like you're running late. Number two, Super Metroid. The third installment in the original Metroid trilogy, this NES classic gave us a black and white flashback to our previous victories and major plot points. An early cinematic opening, it begins with Samus answering a distress call from the space station she had just left. The result was an unexpected encounter with Ridley and having to make a run for it before the station could self-destruct. Talk about starting things off with a bang. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. Number one, Bioshock. You know what? They were right. Taking the top spot on our list is the opening that ramped up the sense of fantasy and adventure to never before seen levels, or should we say depths. Transporting us back to the 1960s and throwing us out into the mid-Atlantic after a plane crash, players emerge surrounded by burning wreckage and hauntingly reflective water before they can even get their bearings. Wandering into a lighthouse, the trip down the figurative rabbit hole deepens as players are introduced to the visionary Andrew Ryan and his ultimate accomplishment, the underwater city of Rapture. A city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality, where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, Rapture can become your city as well. I'm sure things are going to be okay from here on in, right? Agree with our list? Which video game opening hooked you immediately? For more entertaining top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.